we've got a try list today, yeah. and then we've, we've also got one who's injured at the minute. Yeah, she's injured at the minute, unfortunately yeah. during one of my training sessions, which was a shame, but... Yeah. So, on the game so far, the try list and goal, what's your thoughts on it so far? Uh, she's, uh, kicking's been very good, and she's commanded a penalty area, and she's vociferous as well, which we haven't had in the past. So it's great to have a keeper who's going to prepare to command and talk, and be disciplined enough to know exactly what she wants from a defence. Um, We've got this one as well who's coming as injured, so if the trial is still sign and obviously G's going to sign, mm. how nice will that be to have well, two bouncing off each other? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, precisely, yeah, it will be great to have two keepers bouncing off each other. They work, keepers work better in tandem um, and you can share the work. You can actually get more done with two keepers than you can done with one because you're not waiting for rest and then to set up drills and everything. You can actually get more done uh, and keepers tend, as I say, to bounce off each other and learn off each other. So surely uh, Emily, um, the, 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 the newer keeper, if she can look at uh, Rebecca and say this is what I need to do, this is where I need to be and learn from her and maybe Rebecca can learn from Emily as well, you never know. We're always learning aren't we? But yeah, I'm quite happy to have two excellent, two very good keepers.